Right, Ross, as we said for the first T20I, what's your New Zealand 11 going to be for this first game at Wellington? Oh, obviously, just after the World Cup, I, I don't see a lot of changes. The the top six probably pick itself. Uh, Conway, Allen, Williamson, Phillips, uh, you know, the, the top four, uh, whether they uh, change Daryl Mitchell and, and Jimmy Neesham around, I think, uh, you know, that's... That seven, I think, is probably the only spot that's up for grabs. You know, Michael Bracewell uh, bowled very well in the series before the World Cup for for Pakistan against Pakistan and, and Bangladesh. So whether the you know Kane and, and Steady want to give him uh, another run at home, uh, he's he plays in Wellington. Um, so whether he wants to play at home in, in front of his family and friends, uh, so it's out of him and, and Satna for me. Uh, if Sodi uh, as well as Satna had. Fantastic tournaments, but I think, you know, with his age that he's going to continue there. Saudi obviously will be leading the attack with probably Adam Milne, and as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Bolt not being there after not taking a contract um, will be uh, sorely missed, but uh, gives another guy an opportunity. So Ferguson and Milne for me, uh, uh, 10 and 11. All right. Uh, one question that comes with the New Zealand batting Ross is often if Conway and Williamson happen to get in early together, that perhaps they're missing someone to take the game on at that time. Um, there could have been a case in the semi-final too for New Zealand to maybe throw Daryl Mitchell up or Jimmy Nishima. up. Would you like to see that sort of dynamism in New Zealand's T20 Ibatic? I think uh, the strength of this team um, over the past few years is that they trust their, you know, the players that have done it for a long time. So they haven't done it. They haven't changed the order yet. So I don't see them uh, changing it anytime soon. Um, They'll just back themselves that, you know, if Conway and Williams are in there, that they will still give themselves a few balls like they always do. But I'm sure um, with all the media around and how they've gone about it, just showing just a little bit more intent that they've um, shown towards the start of their innings. Um, they're still world-class players at the end of the day. Um, it's just, I guess, you know, those, you know, overs from seven to 10 where you can try and get those boundary options that they probably... Um, will come a bit easier in New Zealand with the smaller boundaries than it was in Australia with, obviously, the boundaries being a lot bigger. All right. And very quickly, if you could just take me through what the bowling roles would be in the absence of Trent Bolt, we knew takes the new ball, does that job for them. And in the absence of Trent Bolt, does Adam Milne become the new ball bowler? Yeah, I think so. I think, um, you know, he can swing it both ways and has had a lot of success uh, playing in the Big Bash for Central Districts and now Wellington. Um, and in the 100 as well, he's opened the bowling. Um and, you know, his slower balls and his death bowling and just that extra pace, having both him and, and Ferguson on the sides, you know, someone who can bowl over 145 consistently uh, will be something that I'm sure Kane will be looking forward to utilising.